Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're wondering where the hell I am, I'm currently at my parents' home. I just thought, why not change it up a little bit and let me know what you think of this backdrop. My mother is definitely more of a talent when it comes to interior and like home and living stuff than I am. Anyway, today's video is all about workwear. I will show you five outfits that I would typically wear on a daily basis so you have that Monday to Friday feeling and at the end of the video I will also tell you three style rules that I live by when it comes to professional dressing. If you are new to this channel my name is Evelyn, welcome. If you enjoy what I do here please make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell to make sure that we see each other again. Also, always feel free to leave me a comment. I love to chat with you guys. So to quickly give you a little bit of context about my personal work environment, because different work environments obviously dictate different dress codes. As some of you already know, I work in an office environment within the fashion industry. I've been working in fashion over 10 years now. I occupy a leadership position and what I do requires a mixture of creative as well as strategic skills. So I have a small team, I have to attend quite a lot of meetings on a daily basis with other departments, external business partners, and I also have regular meetings with the management board, for example. So within the environment that I work in or within the company that I work in, the dress code is not too formal, but also not so super casual, so I don't work like in a startup or something like that. And I also have to keep in mind that I do have somewhat of a representative role because of my position. So having said that, let's dive right into the first outfit, which are my 3 wee trousers that I've been owning for a couple of years now, my black super old um, cashmere turtleneck, my black Sandro blazer and my Dior boots. This is an outfit that I will typically wear on a day with a, you know, super important meeting or meetings, maybe with the management board. So I have to be and I have to look my best. In those cases I mostly opt for a black outfit because it is super chic but it also gives me a little freedom to add a couple of fashionable subtle details. I like to make a little bit of a statement with my shoes for example or I could also you know add my Dior bell to this as well. Because my role is strongly connected with actual fashion expertise I can and I even think I have to demonstrate that so that that adds up to what I have to say. Outfit number two definitely leans more towards the casual side but I think it is yet super put together and polished. I am wearing my beige Max Mara weekend trousers which I absolutely love. I got them this spring. My Vince cashmere sweater which is my all-time favorite and you have seen me wear this a couple of times or like let's say a ton. Also I'm wearing a new blazer that I recently got by Marche Paris. You also may already have seen me wearing this on my Instagram. And to this I would wear a pair of sneakers to keep it comfortable and my new Bottega Veneta pouch. Yes. I personally can actually get away with wearing this pouch to the office. I think it's super chic. It is very understated. So I think I can totally do that. So because of the high quality materials and the monochrome look, this is totally an outfit that I could wear on a regular office day with a couple of meetings with colleagues, yet it is still appropriate for meeting potential business partners as well that, you know, represent the creative part of my work. So the next two outfits are a little bit more of, you know, festive outfits. So I would not just wear these outfits at work, but also on a couple of work related events that I have to attempt to from time to time. That might be an exclusive event for customers or exhibitions or like any kind of happenings that take place, for example, in collaboration with fashion brands. So for this outfit, I am wearing a stretchy pair of trousers, my Balenciaga oversized t-shirt, my new Marsh Sandro blazer, my Fendi ankle boots, as well as my Bottega Veneta pouch again. Whereas this outfit here is definitely more on the elegant side and I would choose this for a more exclusive event with a more sophisticated audience or guestless. So here I am wearing my Isabel Moran silk top that you also have already seen me in, my old Celine wool trousers which I absolutely love but they are old Celine so they are sold out. Sorry guys a lot of you already asked me about these. Again I am wearing my Bottega Veneta pouch and my Fendi ankle boots. 
And last but not least, to round things up, here we have my last outfit. And it is also the most casual one, even though I am wearing the most classic business color code, black and white. Yet still, the white shirt that I am wearing here has this oversized boxy cut to it, which again adds to a little bit more of a modern and laid back elegance. I am styling this up with my theory trousers again, with my Chanel sneakers, and I would even opt for throwing over a cashmere sweater. I can confidently wear trainers to my office outfits most of the time, as long as the rest of my outfit is thought out nicely and polished and my overall appearance is neat. So yeah, these are five examples of very typical day in day out office outfits that i would wear if you have any questions regarding any of the items that i've mentioned please let me know in the comments and now that you have made it so far here are my three style rules that i personally live by and that i basically just learned along the way so rule number one is i always try to represent something so of course we all have our days when we're not feeling ourselves when we're tired when we're not on our a game i have those days too but apart from these days every morning when i put together an outfit i look in the mirror and i really ask myself and i challenged myself what do you represent with this outfit what do you want to or what do you need to represent today most of the time i also take out my phone every morning and check which meetings i have so so that I know that I dress appropriately for the day that is laying ahead of me. So that I know what my priorities are. And that also concludes or determines what priorities I should have within my styling or my outfit choice for that particular day. So is it fashion expertise? creativity, experience, or strategic abilities. And then I just go ahead and try to manifest that within my outfit. Rule number two is a tricky one. And that is I never dress either too feminine or too masculine. So there are a couple of facts that we all have to face when we are climbing up that professional career ladder. And that is people will judge you more and faster. That's just the nature of things within the corporate environment and the higher you get the less women you have around so since i entered my 30s i'm 34 now you will not meet me at the office wearing a mini skirt or something like a extreme cleavage but on the other hand i also learned that i don't want to look like for example all the men around me and that happens when i am in specific meetings i think it is quite easy and it happened to me as well i fell into the trap of wanting to fit in and to you know visually adapt to my surrounding obviously and you want to be taken seriously as well so at some point I catch myself wearing, you know, or looking like the guys around me. So to, in these days, I will consciously try to stand out of the crowd a little bit and to use the fact that as a woman, I sometimes do stand out solely because of the fact that I am a woman for my advantage. And by that, I just mean subtle yet appropriate and professional ways. For example, instead of, you know, wearing another black blazer as everyone around me. I will opt for a beige blazer or for something in a lighter tone. Or again, I would try to wear a little bit of a highlight top under my blazer. Or I would wear a more fashionable and current pair of trousers or statement shoes or something like that. I'm consciously just adding a couple of details and a couple of elements to my outfit that differentiate me from my surrounding. And with that, I get more attention and I invest into my own USP as a human resource and as someone with a certain ability, experience and skill set within this company. So find out how to stand out in the right way and go for it. And rule number three is I don't overdo it with the branding. So I know you have seen me wear Chanel trainers today and you know, designer handbags and other high-end items, I know. And I can get away with wearing these more luxurious or recognizable items but I will always make sure that I minimize the amount of those items to one. So when I know that I'm going to wear a pair of Chanel sneakers, I will make sure that the rest of my outfit is quite understated and minimalistic. Because at the end of the day, of course, I want to be known for my abilities and not for the brands that I'm wearing. As I said before, especially if you are in a leadership position, people kind of judge you. They look at you in a different way as if you are, you know, a team member. I just try to balance it out with showing and demonstrating and just living my passion for high-end luxury items, but in the same way, keep it professional and keep it quite 
understated. For example, I would never wear my Chanel double flap to the office. I once years ago had a colleague who actually did that and I found that very out of place. So this is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found this helpful in any way. If you want to talk more about workwear, business wear, leave me a comment below. And also if you want to see more of my outfits, more of the details that I'm wearing on a daily basis, head over to my Instagram account because there I post more of what you have seen today. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.